Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Brad Tragic Review. And uh, first of all, you notice I'm in a car. It's not my car. It's uh, my brother-in-law, sister-in-law's car. Um, car problems abound, but Royal Rumble did happen, and I want to talk about it uh, and give you my thoughts on it. Uh, I'll kind of do a... I'm going to do a video. I plan on doing my booking video from Royal Rumble to WrestleMania. But really, it was really a hard time to do this year because it was so unpredictable. Now, after seeing Royal Rumble, still pretty unpredictable. We still don't know what's what all is going to happen. Nothing really, like, was given. So I'm guessing tonight on Monday Night Raw is going to be a lot of story development. And, and hopefully in the next coming weeks... We get a lot of story development and a lot of things that we didn't weren't expecting. I think a lot of things that happened, a lot of injuries that happened, kind of screwed up a lot of stories they had planned. So hopefully this will go for from a kind of scrambled vision that they necessarily didn't know what they, they, that they were going to do this. Um, but they, sorry, I'm putting my keys away, <laughs> uh, putting duckies away. Um, but they kind of had to scramble, I think, to try and figure out what they're going to do. So, with that being said, let's kind of talk about the Royal Rumble. So, I did watch the pre-show, sort of. I kind of, I didn't really skip over. I watched the matches. Uh, they had a six-man tag, and I kind of caught it like, right in the middle, started watching it when I was fast-forwarding it backwards. Because it was really weird, because I tried to watch, um, I was just going to watch it live from where I was, and I probably wouldn't even got uh, the Bobby Roode match, but... Uh, I was just going to start there and watch it and whatever with the pre-show things. But I did see most of what happened. Uh, Kalisto, and Lince Dorado, and Grand Metalik got, got the victory over TJ Perkins, um, Jack Gallagher, and Drew Gulak, which is a, kind of a weird combination. Um, but I think they just kind of had to put together a, a match really, really quick, uh, get them to wrestle at the Royal Rumble, and it wasn't really something that they had, I don't think, any substance in, really, uh, per se. So... I don't know. We'll see where it goes from here. I'm not sure what's going to go on with the Cruiserweight division. It's kind of up in the air. I kind of think the Hurricane or Rey Mysterio or even somebody that nobody really talked about um, that I thought might might go uh, to Cruiserweight is having a woman, like having somebody like a Molly Holly or something like that as a general manager. That'd be kind of neat for 205 Live. I don't think it would draw a lot of eyes. I think if you want to draw a lot of eyes, you would put the Hurricane on there and it, it would draw uh, uh, a little bit of eyes for a little bit, but it kind of would kind of go away after they were able to kind of determine what was going to happen um, in the company. But I think Ray would draw a lot of eyes, and plus he could wrestle from time to time uh, until they could figure out maybe a permanent uh, 205 Live person uh, to come in. Because I think if they put a guy like Ray Mysterio there, he's not going to be there that long. Um, but if he's looking to retire, which he sh could be looking to retire, he could kind of be an on-screen role. The only thing problem about that is I don't really, really ever thought he was good at mic work and things like that. He was never really good at that. So I think it would be more somebody like a Jamie Noble. Uh, that would be kind of interesting, have him an on-screen character. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else that would be an on-screen character. Maybe Joey Mercury, but I thought something happened uh, behind the scenes that he wasn't going to be a part of. It. Anyway, then we got a uh, tag team match, uh, the, Bullet, uh, the Bullet Club. <laughs> we wish. Uh, the Club versus uh, Revival. Revival got their win back from Raw 25. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, not really nothing spectacular, but hey, they, at least they got the win. It was kind of a, a, a heelish kind of a win. It was kind of old school. They were in these like weird trunks. I still don't know what kind of trunks they were wearing. It was a weird looking. Uh, but anyways, um, they did that. They they got the win, and it was a match. Bobby Roode took on Mojo. Fairly, fairly like a fast match. I think I caught the entire match. It literally was like two, three minutes, four minutes long. It wasn't that long at all. Uh, Bobby Roode got the victory, retaining this title. I don't, I don't think it was a pre-show, so I, of course he's not going to lose the belt in the pre-show. That'd be kind of stupid. Um, but then we got to the main show. Um, pretty interesting to start off the, with the the WWE uh, Heavyweight Championship. AJ defeated Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I don't know if there was a botch in here or not. It looked like there was a botch, uh, but they went with it. I don't know if they thought the crowd wasn't into it. I have no idea. Like, but AJ was really quick in and out. I don't know if Kevin's injury would play the part into this, because I guess supposedly he has an injured leg right now. So they're kind of working around it, um, trying to let him heal up for WrestleMania, I'm thinking. Uh, so who knows what's going to happen because of this. I have a feeling it's the Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens thing. Is gonna, that program is going to be for WrestleMania. They're going to wrestle each other at WrestleMania. We're going to have our great WrestleMania with a lot of great wrestling matches, but I'll talk about that later. Um, then we got the uh, Usos versus Gable and Benjamin. It was an okay match. It wasn't great. 
I wasn't really too into it. Um, it was really good. Usos got the victory uh, two falls in a row. Uh, I was explaining to my son, you know, hey, a two-out, three-fall match, most likely they'll probably tie and go to third because that's they want to make it interesting, blah, blah. As soon as I said that, they got the second fall. Uso did. <laughs> so there you go. I uh, tried to explain to my son about two, or three, two out of three falls matches, and then Uso's got the second fall. I'm like, never mind. <laughs> But uh, then the Royal Rumble happened. Surprisingly, they started talking about the male Royal Rumble. And I'm like, what? And it happened. Holy crap, dude. Like, the things that happened during this Rumble was incredible. We had, you know, uh, NXT. We had a lot of NXT people, I think, from the main. We got Adam Cole. We got Almas. Uh, and Andrade seeing Almas. Hey, I got it right. right. I was trying to remember when I was watching NXT TakeOver this week. Which that review will be up probably tomorrow, most likely. Um, we'll see what I record today. I probably want to record some kind of movie review today, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I may upload another video when I get home, but this video is going to go up um, most likely first, so I'll have a video up for the day. Um, and then I'll probably upload another one that I got on my, on my computer. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, they were there. Um, who was the other, uh, the other one from NXT? There was another one. Who was the other one? Almas? Adam Cole? I can't remember. I know there was another one, but I can't remember who the other one was. I'm drawing a blank. Hurricane came out. That was kind of cool. It was just funny. Uh, who was the other one? Man, there were some other surprise ones. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm blanking on what's going on. Uh, the, the, the funny scene with Kofi stepping on pancakes so he wouldn't step on the floor. Started on Xavier's chest, and then uh, Big E moved it to the pancakes so he wouldn't touch the floor. And... Then he got back in the ring. As soon as he got back in the ring, though, he got eliminated, I think, by Gender. Gender just, like, grabbed him and picked him up and threw him over the ropes or whatever. So it was kind of interesting. It was, it was an interesting thing. But, man, coming down to Shinsuke, Balor, Cena, and, and Reigns, they did a super good job. I was really happy with everything but the matches we thought were going to be good. That That's the thing. Like, what this Rumble was, the matches that you thought were going to be the show stealers did not steal the show. We're not good at all. None of the matches that were that you thought were good were good. The Sheamus uh, match and stuff, trash. Cena's match, or uh, AJ's match, trash. Uh, Uso's match, not bad. Average match, not special. Brock, the, the Universal title match, trash. Horrible. Not good at all. Um, what was the other match? Uh, I think that was it. Like, basically, probably the, the best matches on the card were probably the 205 Live match, uh, because it was decently booked, probably. Um... That was it. The Royal Rumble matches. That was probably it. The only match that was probably saved by being halfway decent um, was the SmackDown Tag Title match. That was really the only matches that were good. The Royal Rumble match was good. Uh, the women's match. The women's Royal Rumble match could have been better. They put way too many legends in there. I would love to see more NXT call-ups. Because all we got was Ember Moon and Kerry Sane. I would love to see Shayna Baszler. Uh, you know, minus Vicky Guerrero. And I don't think we needed... You know, Jacqueline, I don't think we needed, you know, uh, Tori Wilson. I think if we would have got Lita and Trish and uh, Michelle McCool, I think that would have been cool. But she didn't really get a big pop. The people that got pops, I think, were Tori Wilson got a big pop. Trish Stratus got a big pop. Lita got a big pop. Uh, Michelle McCool did not get a pop. Uh, <laughs> Kelly Kelly, I don't think, really got that big. She got a decent ovation, but not like a huge pop or anything. Jacqueline got a good, a big pop. So maybe Jacqueline, but she's getting up there. She probably didn't need to be in the rumble. They could have, they could have picked somebody from NXT. You know, I, I think they should have gave it to maybe Nikki Cross and, uh, you know, the iconic duo and could have let, and, and you know, uh, maybe Shayna Baszler even maybe continue that story, uh, on WWE TV to kind of cross over to NXT to tell, Maybe had her come in, eliminate Ember Moon, to kind of continue to tell that story and kind of advertise NXT for the, you know, the coming few weeks to WrestleMania. Uh, but anyway, Shinsuke won it. Shocking. I don't think a lot of people thought it coming. A lot of people thought it was probably going to be Randy Orton, to be completely honest, with Cena or Reigns. It was kind of surprising. I kind of thought, though, that Shinsuke might win it just because if you look at all the big stars, he really just has nothing planned. Orton doesn't either, but I'm sure they got something planned for him. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a triple threat match. It'll get inserted somehow. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, tag titles changed hands. Sheamus has already defeated uh, Seth and Jason Jordan. Some bull crap about Jason Jordan being injured. He supposedly is really injured, I heard, though. So that's why they probably did this story. And Seth basically wrestled the entire match. It was dumb. It, was, it wasn't that entertaining. It, it bored me to death. 
Universal title match, horrible. It was so stupid. Uh, literally, Brock, I think, got accidentally kneed in the face by Braun, and he got mad and punched Braun straight in the face. I swear to God, it happened. It looked so legitimate. I knew it was legitimate. And seeing a couple, a couple of people talk about it, a couple of people talk about it on YouTube, I really do think that's what happened. I'm pretty sure it's what happened. So, kind of stupid Brock to be unprofessional like that. As, as good as a talent as Braun is, I'm sure there's going to be some repercussions for Brock doing that after he loses the title at WrestleMania, because I'm assuming he's going to lose it to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, and hopefully Brock is just gone. They just need to get rid of him. He, he's stupid. He doesn't need to be there. He's, he's served this purpose. They need to get rid of him. Say thank you. Let him go. Um, that's about it. Then we got the Women's Royal Rumble. Um, it was pretty interesting. Like I said, they, they could have switched up people out. Uh, Asuka won. And then at the end, it was really funny, because I think all of people stood up for number 30, thinking it was going to be Ronda Rousey and end up being Trish Stratus. Uh, which was, you know, kind of lackluster. I thought that would have been the great spot to put, like, Ember Moon or, you know, uh, Shayna Baszler. No, it wouldn't have been that. Like, Ember Moon or Nikki Cross would have been a good uh, spot for that. Uh, uh, who else would, would be the great one? Or, like, Candice LeRae, but she hadn't even wrestled in NXT yet, so they wouldn't put her on main yet. Um, or, you know, and funny, we didn't even get, like, a rico Ricochet or EC3 sighting at the, uh, in the Rumble, so that'd be kind of cool if they would have put that. Um but yeah, then Rousey comes out at the end, basically shaking people's hands, staring at people, pointing at the WrestleMania signs, stupid crap like that. We didn't even get an answer from Asuka, so that'll be what happens tonight, I'm sure. We'll see probably Rousey on Raw, um, or we'll see a video package from Rousey talking about what she wanted. I know there was a YouTube video, but I didn't watch it. I'll probably watch it when I get back home. Um, but yeah, no real clear things. We know Shinsuke won. We know he wants to face AJ. We have new tag team champions. Jason Jordan and Seth are broken up. So we're probably going to have number one contenders for the tag match at some point tonight or during the next few weeks. Um, IC title wasn't on the line. US title was on the line. No real clear picture of that. Dolph was in the Rumble. Got eliminated. Nothing there. Um, what's going to happen? I have no idea. A lot of stuff in the air. A lot of, you know, Brock retained the championship, of course, whatever. Where are they going to go with that? I'm sure it's Elimination Chamber match. is going to be for the number one contender. Um... As far as fast lane for the uh, title for SmackDown, I don't know what's going to happen. It's a lot of things are up in the air. This year is going to be very, very interesting. Last year was kind of like this, though, but we still kind of had a purpose. We kind of knew a few matches. And this year, we kind of know some of the big marquee matches. It's been pretty much stated to clear. Uh, and now we're hearing, and Jericho kind of dropped out. I watched a video this morning where Jericho kind of dropped a hint that uh, Triple H was taking on Braun Strowman, which that would be amazing. I would love to see that match. That would be incredible because Triple H could still go. And if he could, you know, take the bumps and things that Braun's going to give him, that's going to be an amazing match. I'm, I'm so excited to see that. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Royal Rumble 2018 was pretty good. It wasn't the best. But it'll go up there in one of the most interesting uh, Royal Rumbles in history. It was the first ever women's Royal Rumble. Hopefully they, it happens again next year. Probably most likely next year, female will probably open the show or something like that. Uh, which I wouldn't be sad about. They gave it its first ever as the main event. That and Rousey was there, so it had the the purpose for being on last. So Rousey can come out and shock the crowd. That crowd blew up when Rousey came out. Though it was, it was freaking insane. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, all all that good jazz. You know that you know the routine. I'm gonna catch you later. Later, guys. Keep rocking and keep on watching wrestling. I almost didn't say that. What the heck's wrong with me?